Good morning. My name is Emily Bond and I'm here to discuss Juan Hane Pestalozzi and his educational ideas and educational impact on our education system today. Mr. Pestalozzi founded several educational institutions both in German and French speaking regions of Switzerland. And he wrote and wrote many, many works explaining his revolutionary modern principles of education. His motto, learning by head, hand, and heart. Thanks to Pestalozzi, literacy in the 18th century Switzerland was overcome completely by 1830. Pestalozzi was a romantic who felt that education must be broken down into elements in order to have a complete understanding of it and I can't say I disagree. Based on what he learned through his experience of operating schools, he emphasized that every aspect of a child's life contributes to the formation of their personality, character, and capacity to reason. Pestalozzi's educational methods were, chi were child-centered and based on individual differences within each student since perception and the student's activity. So basically he emphasized making education individualized and student specific in order to get a better uh, response from the student and help the student understand more on their level versus everyone else's level. Pestalozzi's philosophy of education was based on a four-spear concept of life and premise that human nature was essentially good. The first three exterior spheres, home and family, location and individual, self-determination, and state and nation, recognized that the utility of individuality and family and applying the child student the child parent excuse me relationship to society as a whole makes a big difference in who the child becomes as a person and their character and their attitude towards learning and their sense of responsibility etc cetera, etc cetera. the last exterior sphere inner sense hoisted that education having provided a means of satisfying one's basic needs results in inner peace and a keen belief in God. Some educational ideas that Mr. Pestalozzi had was he designed two related phases of instruction, general and special methods. His general method involved creating a safe learning environment for all students so that they felt that they were comfortable and safe enough to learn and express themselves and be themselves. And the special, the special method involved sensory learning through object lessons. Um, the second educational idea that I pointed out is uh, he desired for schools to be more home-like, where teachers actively engage their students in more of a, uh, not really a parental role, but um, that the caring relationship was evident, just like in a parent-child relationship. And um, number three, he believed that children need an emotionally stable environment to learn the mo to learn in the most effective way. And I, that is probably one that I agree with the most because if children feel safe, then they are more likely to focus on what they need to be focused on within the school system. Um, his educational impact was um, his philosophy on education encourages um, harmonious intellectual, moral, and physical development. He introduced the use of activities, nature, field trips to promote and encourage progressive education, and his methodology of empirical sensory learning, specifically through object lessons. If you think about the education system today, I can see evidently all of his methods used throughout education today. And I do believe that learning outside of the classroom as well as inside of the classroom is very effective. Um, it is believed that um, it, the reasoning behind Pasoli's uh, 
mother to child or child to parent um, emphasis came from him losing his father at a very young age and his mother was very loving and devoted but extremely sheltered and um, this prevented him from becoming from developing proper social skills and these early developments these early diff difficulties with his developments greatly impacted his philosophy of education and made him realize how important both socialization and practical learning is for students he was a very innovative teacher who was committed to a social reform within our education system and he played a huge role in laying the foundation for modern elementary for modern elementary education